Hello there, Eruner here and today we will make a tier list of the best sword units in the Troy. We are starting with Ethiopia and Sheridan Warriors. These guys are very strong, immune to flanking, they can heal up after without, outside of the combat. They are definitely one of the best swords in the game. Next is Argos and Ergive Swordmasters. They are very strong, uh, good flanking uh, swords. Flanking attack improved, flanking defense improved. Uh, they have very strong and unique weapon. They are definitely above average. Or maybe almost uh, in the S tier. But they are going to lose duels against Sheridan Warriors for example. Then we have Dardania with their fearless uh, swordsmen. These swords are very good and they are not gonna rout and that's why uh, I'm going to move them up. They deal a lot of damage and they refuse to die so they will be dwelling very well. Next we have Hector and Hector's Chosen. They are definitely one of the best. And when comparing Hector's Chosen to Sheridan's, Hector's Chosen are going to win just slightly. And they are perfect flankers. You can ignore enemy flanking and inflict a lot of havoc in enemy ranks as well. So. Also, thanks to flanking getting improved and their raw power, they are the best swords in the game. Next, we have Aristomachoi from Hippolyta. Uh, it's a definitely a solid sword unit. Um, after it loses half of the HP, they are getting plus 10 attack, plus 10 defense, and this makes them excellent dueling uh, sword unit. So they are definitely going to the A tier. Then we have Warriors of Ithaca. Despite being quite cheap, they are definitely stronger than they, they look. And on top of that, they are perfect for Vanguard and Stalk tactics. So they really can match up with any other solid uh, swords. They are not the perfect duelist as the units above, but really solid anyway. Then we have the Lycia with uh, Kopesh Warriors. Uh, they seem to be like standard average sword unit, but after many battles, uh, their performance is uh, not that great or awesome. They are underperforming, especially when you go 1v1. So the best and the only use for renowned Kopesh warriors is to make so messy battles that everybody is flanking everybody and they will be doing fine thanks to their flanking immunity. Otherwise they are going to lose in against other sword units. Then we have uh, the armored swordsmen from Mycenae. They are solid sword frontline or kill line unit. Uh, pretty standard, tough guys. They can heal up. I would say B tier, kind average is pretty good place for them. Paris unfortunately does not have uh, swords, but but there is one uh, trick. Uh, the Trojan princess have the same weapon as uh, Hector's Chosen. So, in theory, you could use uh, Trojan nobles as a melee unit. It's not recommended uh, because of their lack of HP models. And they have pretty okay or good uh, combat stats compared to other missiles but they will lose to the other swords unit. 
Similarly, Hippolyta does not have sword units, but Temiskra Chosen is having pretty strong and comparable weapon as Hector's Chosen or Trojan Princess. Again, this is not a sword infantry unit. You will have to spend all the ammunition before you can use it as a mid-tier sword unit. Then we got Mighty Mirbinons from the Phtaya. They are definitely one of the best. Uh, in battles and competitive tournaments they are slightly losing because they do, do not have some flanking defense or immunity. Uh, but in dueling they are able to beat everybody from A tier or lower. Another interesting unit is Salami Swordsman. They seem to be like pretty standard or stronger swords than we have seen before. Despite having very good stats, armor and a phenomenal weapon, they are not performing, not beating other guys and they are behaving like standard sword front line or, or sword kill line so the b tier the average tier is perfect for them then we got sparta uh, with laconian hillman no laconian swordsman since this is just a mid tier unit uh, it's not going to perform well against and late game units so we will move it to the C tier. It can be in the D tier as well. But Lacon and Swordsman are pretty decent. And now we have the last unit, Trace. Trace is not having sword units, uh, just Plainsmen. These guys are early to mid game unit with one javelin and almost no armor. Um, but it's it's a sword in it, yeah. Okay, let's quickly review uh, the ranking. On the S tier, Hector's chosen are really the best, uh, followed by um, Sheridan Warriors. Uh, Mirmidon Swordsmen really are behind because of their lack of flanking defense. Then we have three formidable swords. Argus Swordmasters are really on the edge between A tier and S tier. And here, probably Hippolyta is uh, stronger than Fearless Swordsman because of the ability. Then in B tier, we, we got Warriors of Ithaca, which are the cheapest from these guys. And other guys just have good armor and equipment and a lot of men. In the C tier, definitely Lycia Renan Kopesh fighters are better than Laconian swordsmen, so that's fine. And in, in D tier, uh, let's say it's also fine. Okay, I hope you like it and if you have any corrections, opinions or anything to say about this uh, tier list, please leave a, a comment below. Thank you and see you later.